Hi, welcome to well. Uh, <laughs> I can remember my own name. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Hot Baked Italian. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm going to be making a shrimp and pasta dish, a simple, easy dish that's delicious. So please stay tuned, and we'll be right back. All right, so today the dish is a, it's a, it's a shrimp basil tomato pasta dish. Very easy, only takes a handful of ingredients to make. Something that's great for summer. In fact, I always think of it as a summer dish. I've always made it during summer, but yet it can be made year round. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're gonna need here is about a pound, pound and a half of shrimp. I did raw shrimp, peeled all the skins off of it, even the tail, so it's completely peeled, rinsed really well, and mine's just been sitting there draining, or you can take a paper towel and just kind of damp, um, pat it dry. So I'm just gonna get that in the bowl. And I just need to season this with some salt and pepper. Gonna get that all mixed together. Okay, and once that is done, we're just gonna put that aside for a moment. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna need is about two large cloves of garlic. They're pretty nice large size, so I went ahead and got them all chopped. I don't think you need to watch me chop garlic. Um, but you can see they're nice large cloves. I'm a really a garlic fan, so actually I probably put closer to four cloves in here. A couple large ones and then some smaller ones. And it's just fine, finely chopped. Okay, so when you have that ready. The next thing you're gonna need is a pint of grape tomatoes or cherry tomatoes. Your choice, doesn't matter which one they are. And we need to slice those in half. And again, I've done just about all of them. So let's get these finished up real quick. Okay, so there is a pint of the cherry um, grape tomatoes that I have all ready to go. And my next ingredient then is some fresh basil. And I just bought the fresh basil in a large tub. I need about a cup of it. So this is quite a bit. You can buy it any way you want at the grocery store. And again, let's see, I have almost, you can see how I just finely sliced it, chopped it. I just need a little bit more in there. And you need about, like I said, about a cup of this. So I'm just gonna peel off all of the bigger leaves here that I need. Get rid of the stems. Alrighty, that should be about it. And if you just hold it all together and then just start slicing. carefully. Don't get your fingers caught in there. All right. And I'm just going to put that into the bowl. And that's pretty much it. A couple more things, we'll, but we're going to head over to the stove now and start making this and get this all together. So come with me to the stove. All right. So in my saucepan, I have put four teaspoons of olive oil and my heat is on high. I'm just going to let that get warmed up just a little bit here. And I'm going to take my shrimp and just put that in there. I am going to need that bowl again, so keep that handy. All right, so it's just going to take a little bit for that to get hot and get cooking. All right, so these shrimp have been cooking just a, you know, about two, three minutes. It's starting to turn opaque. You want to make sure they are all opaque, so it's all that like getting white. And you don't want to overcook them, so be careful. Once those are looking done, I'll just go ahead and we're going to take them right out of the, bowl, um, the pan and put them back into the bowl that I had them in originally. Okay. okay. I'm going to add two more teaspoons of olive oil.
and all the garlic. Put that in there. And just let that cook up a little bit. Mm, okay, I'm starting to smell the garlic. Got about 30 seconds, nice and fragrant. All right, so once that's going, I'm going to take a can. This is like a 14 and a half ounce can of diced tomatoes. So a small can of tomatoes. Put those in there. I need two cups of water. All right, we're just going to bring this to a boil and let it simmer for a little bit. All right, so this is just starting to boil a little bit. We're gonna let it go ahead and um, simmer for about 15 minutes until the tomatoes get soft and it becomes kind of saucy. All right, so um, let that go. I'll turn that down a little bit so it'll just start simmering. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do is go ahead and get our water going. So I have a pot of water here. I'll turn that up. And I'm gonna get a little salt in our water. Okay, all right, so in about 15 minutes, we'll see you back here and I'll show you how to wrap this up. All right, so it's been about 15 minutes now and the sauce has been cooking, um, getting a little saucy. So what I'm going to do is turn this off. I'm going to pour in my grape tomatoes, stir those, and I'm just gonna let them sit with it off. And in the meantime then, I about two minutes ago, I put my pasta in and now we're just waiting for this to cook. All right, and then once this finishes cooking, we'll be able to mix it all together and have some uh, delicious uh, pasta and shrimp. All right, so the pasta is cooked. So I've got the oven turned or stove turned off. Let's get this strained. sauce in. Shrimp goes back in. And now the um, that cup of um, basil. Now while my pasta was cooking and the sauce was simmering, I went ahead and I got my table set, I made a salad, and so we are ready to eat. You could let this stand for about maybe just a couple minutes, let some of the juices soak in. Makes it very colorful, very light dish. All right. Okay, well let's dish this up and give it a try. All right, so as you can see, this dish has lots of shrimp in it. It's very light perfect summer dish and very easy to make. Um, I hope you try it. If you do, please leave a comment for me. Uh, give me a like, share it with a friend. And let's give this a try and see how it has come out. I think this will always remind me of summer. Nice flavor of garlic, a little bit of basil in there, and some fresh shrimp. Delicious. I hope you try it, enjoy it. Thank you so much for joining me today. <laughs>